Recently, I made this video right here about the top five design styles that I saw on Etsy so far this year. And the one I want to focus on in this video is the vintage fruit design. So here I am on Canva. We're going to come in here and hit create first. And the next thing you want to do is custom size. We want to do it 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. We're going to do elements and I can do vintage fruit. Now I think this one is a great one. It has that nice watercolor look. It's kind of faded. And what's nice about it, if, if we do here magic recommendations, we can see all, there's a bunch of other ones too that are in the same kind of style. I'm gonna put some of them here. This blueberries are amazing. That's a, that's a great one right there. This one's kind of cool. So you can see what I'm looking for. And there's a bunch of them on here. Okay, so next thing we're going to look for is a good font. So I'm going to go to text and a lot of these fonts right here on this page can work. We're looking for some vintage fonts in here. I'm going to just hit join the celebration right here. You can see I can use that and I can uh, ungroup this. So right now both of these are grouped together. If I hit ungroup now I can take this one and this one by itself and uh, have it different. So uh, let's try just blueberries here. So that look has like a really nice vintage feel. Now, if you're looking for one that has like a distressed look on it, you can come in here and use something else. I've used this one before, uh, Farm Serif. You can see kind of the roughness on here, which is kind of neat. There you go. So I'm gonna add another word down here, maybe Farm Fresh or something like that. So I'm gonna add another text box. Um, it's using the same font. So I'm gonna do Farm Fresh. I could also do the effect up the other way, do this and make it go up like that. Now I can use the color of this. So if I'm coming in here and I change the colors, you can see uh, Canva knows the colors that are in my blueberries thing. So I can kind of try and match it too by going here. Another thing that you can do to create interest is to add like some uh, stamps and stuff. So I can come in here hit elements. Let's go back and do kind of, uh, I like to do a hundred percent natural there like this, maybe organic. It already has that stamped feel and look, check that out. Pretty cool. Really easy, right? There you go. That's how you create those designs, those vintage fruit designs on Canva. Thanks again for watching. And as always guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one.